This is Kara Baldwin with this week's CHRI New Music Review. Tiffany Arbuckle, or Plum, has sold over two million singles worldwide and has had songs in feature films and TV shows, and actually In Your Arms was even once used in a cool down for a fitness class I was in. Plum moved to Nashville at age 20 to sing backup for artists including Bill Gaither and Amy Grant, and when signing as a Christian artist in 1997, she was recognized more for her dance music, topping Billboard dance charts more than once. Her music has also been put into the modern rock genre, which had an evanescence feel, especially in her last record, Need You Now, which brought radio and iTunes number ones and earned her several Dove Award nominations. And it was that year, 2013, that she saw the most intense touring schedule of her career. And that tour, by the way, was her first in seven years, because in Tiffany's memoir, Need You Now, A Story of Hope, we learn about how her busy schedules created a disconnect in her marriage that almost led to divorce. Today's new music review is for the follow-up to Need You Now. It's called Exhale. And the title sums it up. Her last album was out of a place of struggle and desperation, and Exhale, a breath of relief of hope and of thanksgiving. Now, it was a little tricky for me to choose a song that really stood out to me because nothing was really sensational, in my opinion, but I really did like Great Is Our God best. Plum didn't write it originally, but she said that it's one of the first songs after her marriage was reconciled that she and her husband could worship to together. Even though these songs come from a real honest journey of faith, struggle, doubt, and hope, I felt like the lyrics and the rhyming just a bit too simple. Her voice is amazing though, it always has been, but I still just kept waiting for that big note we heard in Don't Deserve You. And I prefer the Evanescence style and hope to get more of it this time, not less. What's great about this record though is that these songs are honest and personal and they're vertically directed, which I think makes this album really great for times of reflection or quiet worship or to lift you up when you're struggling. And I know that was really Plum's desire with Exhale. And musically speaking, the hooks are quite good. All that said, I'm giving these love letters because that's really what they are, three out of five stars. Join me this Saturday for more raw, honest songs from Plum as we count down the hits together on CHRI. Thanks for watching. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Exhale. <laughs> Tiffany Arbuckle, or Plum, has sold over two million singles. I have to introduce myself again. I do this every time. <laughs> Make it really out of focus. It'll be like I'm a dream sequence. Plum moved to Nashville. <laughs> Tiffany Arbuckle, or Plum, has sold... <laughs> Start over. Start over. It's your fault. <laughs> And actually, In Your Arms was even once used in... <laughs> what? That wasn't my fault. <laughs>